Hey folks, so we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart. We're going to talk a little bit about the technicals, the dominance, everything that's going on here. What are the probabilities that we're going to break out versus what are the probabilities that we're going to collapse back down? So let's take a look right off the bat at the technicals and chart of Bitcoin. So what we've seen is Bitcoin rallied all the way up, retesting this double top. All right, so this is the double top high pivot from the 14th of April. We retested it on the 23rd of June. June here. Now, if I zoom out, the reason that trend line has been so impressive in terms of its resistance is because it goes all the way back to this area here. So if you're looking at the 2021 cycle, this was a low pivot before the big move up. It came down, it hammered on it multiple times. It then went up again, coming down again, and then eventually falling, consolidating right at that 30 to 31,000 level before breaking lower. So it makes sense that it's going to be hard to push back through that level. And in fact, it's given us a couple good shorting opportunities on Bitcoin throughout the pullbacks off of that level. Now, if we take a look at what's currently going on, you've now established price over the last week between 31,000 and 30,000. The reason that's important is because, number one, as long as it stays in that range, it has a positive bias to the upside. So again, a positive bias to the upside as long as you stay sideways above 30,000. If it breaks 31,000 and confirms, you want to see it stay above that level for about five trading days. Then you can say, okay, we're headed higher. We're most likely headed to our next target. Where's the next target to the upside? There'll be a little resistance at this pivot low area right here and this one right here. That's at 34,500, give or take 35,000. And then this one upsloping would be my next target at around 44,800. We'll call it 45,000. Now, that's the bull case. If 30,000 does not hold, if we close, if we have a daily close below 30,000, psychologically, that's going to do a lot of damage to the charts. And you may see a drop to 28. If 28 breaks, 26 is your next stop here. If 26 breaks, then you could be talking about heading all the way back to 20,000 or the lows of 15,700. So basically summarizing here on the Bitcoin chart, the key is, it needs to stay above 30,000 on a daily closing basis. Now, remember, that's a daily closing basis. So again, intraday, if it pierces, that doesn't matter. It can be rescued. Daily closing basis above 30,000. The bias is bullish right now near term. I'm only talking near term here. We'll have to see where it goes from there on, on out. But let's see. If it closes below 30,000, Watch out below, you may see a big sell-off. Lastly, folks, I want to show the Bitcoin dominance chart. And again, BTC.D is the Bitcoin dominance chart. And what we could see clearly here, this was resistance all the way along here, hammering on that 49% level. Once it broke out, you can see the move. Now it's at 52%. Where is Bitcoin dominance going to go? You're talking about 57 to 60% dominance. Now, again, the key on this is understanding that it doesn't necessarily guarantee Bitcoin is going to go up. It might tell us that Bitcoin is going to come down a little bit, but altcoins are going to fall much, much more, which in all fairness is part of why Bitcoin dominance has gained. We've seen altcoins collapsing while Bitcoin has stayed relatively strong. So again, that's a key there on the Bitcoin dominance chart. I just want you guys fully aware of everything going on with Bitcoin, the technicals of the chart. Don't forget, we have a sale 35% off the winning trader series at verifiedinvesting.com. Go check it out. Learn and profit for life.